Alright guys, it is finally here. Penumbra Necrolog has been released. I downloaded this this morning and I'm going to play it now. You have no idea how excited I am. I mean like... Ah, oh, damn! Dude! What the fuck? Ah, oh, man, seriously, what the fuck? It, it's not what you think, man. I mean, I was just doing some... I'm sorry, man. But I have to put you down now. No, dude, please, come on! I said it's not what you think! Alright, hello everyone, my name is Bulls from X and welcome to Penumbra Necrolog. Finally, finally it has been released on MarDB, finally I could download it this morning. It was actually released when I was asleep, because yeah, everything is being released when I'm asleep of course. That's how lucky I am. But now it is here, I downloaded it immediately and uh, I'm actually really excited to play this game because I've played both Penumbra games, uh, I think a year ago. And they really creeped the hell out of me, so yeah, I'm really excited to do this. I have my new recording stuff where going, I hope it doesn't screw up or anything. And there are the bleeps. Great for synchronization actually. And only you decide what to do with this story. To consider it ravings of a madman or a horrible fate of a friend. Fate that you would wouldn't wish on your enemy. Dot. You forgot a dot, man. Come on. Wow, that intro just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> this is going to be so great. Everyone can plan one step ahead, but it does not mean that everything happens the way you've predicted. I expected to find my father to learn all his secrets. But I was too late. With my own hands, I killed all of my friends. I did not even get to see them. Only the annoying, duplicitous voice never left me, always irritating the unhealed wounds of my soul. And finally, I found a way to destroy it. But even that was not the end. Dungate is the reason for everything that has happened to me. It showed me its world and started to trust me. But I betrayed it. It was yet another of my mistakes. Surviving all this miraculously didn't make me lose my mind, but now I feel like I'm going insane after all. surprised that I'm back in your head. I'll say you frankly, if I do something other than what you want, it isn't because I want to kill you. Yes, I keep saying that you're too stupid to live because you're a brainless amoeba. But think for yourself. If I wanted to kill you, I would do it as easy as I did with your blithering friend Swanson. Swanson. Don't you forget that I'm in control of your senses? And now listen carefully, I'm sick of sitting in your lodgy hat. So I still prefer to go forward, not sit still. Go ahead, monkey. Wow. He actually sounds pretty much the same as the... Uh monster inside your head from the really from the real Penumbra series I don't think it's the same voice actor but not yet I need to think this is to save right my life or it's my dream or is it my dream yeah the developers are, are Russians originally so uh, there might be some grammar issues with the game <laughs> but hey if your English is good enough not yet I need to think and I need to adjust my mouse brightness. I mean, sensitivity. Sen sen that, that, yeah, yeah. Just look at this. It's, it's not even amnesia anymore. It's just penumbra. 
But I guess there will be some amnesia assets or something. Not yet, I need to think. I need to read a book. Why is it turning blue? Is it because of this book I picked up? I don't know. Thank you. Oh, there we go. I'm done thinking, apparently. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're alive. I didn't hear a word from you for a whole day. Or so. I'm so glad you're alright. Sorry, but I have to move constantly. That's why we haven't met yet. By the way, it turns out that I'm not infected. I left a note for you back then. It was so silly of me. I'm sorry. And yes, a notification from the main core of the shelter yesterday came on my computer. Well, on the computer which is near me. It appears that someone summoned some kind of expedition, and they're searching for survivors right now. They're sending a signal to all computers in the station, to people like me and you. Don't lose hope, and immediately move to them. So, I hope very much that we'll finally meet, and then... I'm going to kiss you. Ooh. Good luck. Come then. I'm sure it helped you before. What, you kissing me? Of course it helped me. I like your kisses. I like them on my cheeks. I like them on my lips. I like them on my butt. I like them uh, everywhere. You know, actually your eyes are not deceiving you. Either you believe me or not. Yes, I played a little with you, but only at the very end. And if I did this at the beginning, we both wouldn't be here now, would we? Yeah, of course, my so friend. So take my word for it. It is a great pleasure to see how you're suffering and writing in pain. But I don't want to disappear just because of your stupid monkey can understand simple jokes. Whoa. Why? Don't shake the ground, please. I'm, go I'm seriously going to cry if this penumbra worm is in here. I mean, in this game. It doesn't seem like I can run and I'm losing some FPS. God damn it, what is happening? I'm trying to record this in 60 FPS, so yeah. Even if I did remember the combination, there is no more antidote left. Oh, it's exactly the mother effing same! Oh my god, I just copied it. That's just brilliant. Just look at this, god damn it, it looks so gorgeous. So gorgeous. Yes. Of course, the chair closes the door. Fuck off, man. Come on, let me through. Do I just leave now? What? This door wasn't here before. There was only one door, not a double door. Double door? I think I got everything. Let's go. There seriously was just one door, right guys? Not two. Am I going insane already? My head keeps spinning. Where did Clarence come from? Is Annabelle, Annabelle really alive? These questions are... What? 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 These questions are is stuck in my mind, even for a second. There is one thing that is perfectly clear. I'm alive. And I've gotten a chance for salvation. So, based on the fact that you're Ooh, infected that and I'm the most reasonable person here, I can surely say this corridor's changed a bit. <laughs> Let's play. You find the way without my help, and I'll give you a shiny penny. Oh, lovely. I hate you already, dude. Is this his anus? It looks like he's taking a poo right before he died. Not very nice. Alright. Oh my god. It's seriously I like Penumbra all over again. I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna hate it. Because the game even... Shit. This game even gave me more goosebumps than amnesia. Because of the fucking dogs. No, no fab... Please no. I just came here, okay? Leave me alive. I think this game is going to be quite extensive. I mean, this is the first map, actually. And it's so big. So many doors. But yeah, I guess I'll just have to search everything, right? Oh yeah, I can run now. Brilliant. Give me that. I'm gonna ride some things. Nothing. That's too bad. Right, let's save it right here. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a freaking drink machine, okay? Vending machine. Calm down. One cannot die twice. I need to sneeze. Apologies. <laughs> no, maybe? Tomorrow? Okay, then not. Don't you guys just hate that? When you need to sneeze and then in the end you don't. <laughs> That's not... That's not very fine now. I hate that feeling. <laughs> what the fuck is this? God damn it, colons everywhere. It does not work. Alrighty. Can I get a drink? Shit. I want some cola. What? You're saying that cola in the morning is weird? Not for me. I'm unhealthy as fuck. That's where I came from. So let's go over here. Oh no. I can't believe my eyes. Why can you not believe your eyes? It was supposed to be Swanson, but it's not. I know that. So that means she's still alive? Oh my god! She's still alive! Swanson! But where is Swanson? What the fuck? Look at that! What the hell? <laughs> is that a baby? Is that a baby fetus? Hello, worm. Well, it's hopeful music, so I guess she's still alive. Just saying. Oh my god. I now see why this mod took so long to develop. It's stuck. I don't think I can move it until I've pulled the chain up. Yeah, but that's why I'm turning this thing. <coughs> okay, and then... Oh! Okay. That's good, that's cool. Maybe if some danger comes, I don't know. We have some defense mechanism. If one of those creepy... Uh, dick monster shows up. What is this? Oh, it's a gas can or something. Am I looking for something special in here? Or am I just walking around like a madman? It's completely sealed. There's no way I'd ever get it open. Well, that's a bummer. It's a bummer. So now... Ah, the toilets, of course! I need to take one. Please. Okay, guys, excuse me. Ah, look at that. Some toilet paper, this is going to be great. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, finish it up. Can I like... Yes, do it like that. Grab it and we're done. I'm done for today. Oh, I can actually flush the toilets. Brilliant. Okay, there's nothing in here. Let's go back then. Is there? No, it's only this. And some kind of weird radio transmitting thing. Piles of documents. I'll doubt that I'll find anything useful here. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> yeah. Pretty damn impressive already. That they actually just... They actually just complete... I mean, copied... The whole Penumbra game. And just made a sequel to it. That is just... That is some skill. I would need five or maybe ten years to do something like this. What? Is the grudge coming over or something? Look at all that hair. Oh my god. Don't tell me the grudge is coming over here. Okay. So, I probably need to... Throw something in here? No? Alrighty then. It was just a guess. Do I just need to get out of here? Is that my objective? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> if I can, at least. No worms. Can't open it. The lock seems to be frozen. <laughs> well. Okay, then. Didn't want to go in there anyway. Hello? Are you here? Okay, he's gone. Great. Beautiful. I came from there. Didn't I? Yes, I did. Where did he go? Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh. Where is this bastard? How quick is he? This 
place is so motherfucking extensive. You have no idea. Crap! Shit, 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 flashlights everywhere. God damn it, read a note. Read it. The foreword. My name is Walton Raleigh. Until now I have been dutifully doing my job despite the risk and danger. I haven't managed to move far away and all that's left for me is to hide in my apartment. <laughs> <coughs> I worked in the examination room. My task was to study the organisms which are unknown to us. The actual horror began during the infection outbreak after the opening of the Turngate tomb. At first they brought me a couple of dogs, which were found and killed in the old iron shafts during an expedition searching a new passage to the tomb. They were subjected to some mutation. Everything looked so unusual that I could not de determine the cause right away. After a while the infection passed on to humans. Our small community which had been united by one goal, uniting which took decades, fell apart entirely in a few months. This nightmare lasted about six months, but still has not ended. One day, they brought me a corpse of an infected human. I was told that, they ha that I had to study it. Wow, there's a lot of reading. It was the first time that I saw this monster with my own eyes. At the end of the examination I made recordings and took photos. I studied the blood structure of the infected and it gave me the idea of an antidote. Even after a couple of weeks I still couldn't get used to the presence of a corpse next to me and got more and more terrified each day. And another fact shook me. Shocked me. The body of the infected did not subject to degradation. It only changed the skin color. After another couple of weeks... By the way guys, if you do not want to read you can just skip ahead. I want to get uh, immersed into the story, so I'm going to read everything. I developed a formula, but it was too late. Almost all members of the staff were either dead or turned into these monsters. Two of my colleagues were the last living people who I, who I had a chance to see. They decided to go to the generator room and hide there. I don't know what happened to them. I collected all the supplies that I could find and went to my apartment. For the past few weeks, I've been sitting in this room and listening to the frightening silence. Day 5. It's impossible. I heard footsteps in the hallway and they didn't sound like the steps of an affected person. I've learned to be very careful in the last few weeks, but maybe this time I lost my chance to find a survivor. I didn't see who they were. Perhaps I'll never find out. Day 6. During the next day everything was going as usual, but then I heard a noise again. This time I thought it was coming from the examination room. As if I... As if a large number of living beings has gathered there. I don't know for sure if I'm right, but it looks like this is my chance to escape. I might even find my colleagues in a generator room, if they are still alive. I'm going to die anyway. Either from starvation, or from the clutches of those monsters. But it's still better much than waiting. And I'm gonna fucking pull this door behind my face. <laughs> because I saw a flashlight of one of those dicks. Oh, thank you. Is that him? Please don't tell me you can open doors. Nothing. I don't actually think there's... There's hardly anything in here, but hey. You can never be sure. That's what I meant. That's a photo. Lovely. Alright. So he is there, so I'm going over here, of course. God damn it, electricity. I have a broom. So don't try and touch me, okay? Oh, it's a bathroom. God damn it. So I have to go to the other side. At least I got some painkillers. Okay, let's go. Let's face this danger. Let's face it. That's an important lesson, guys. Never run from danger in horror games. Always face it. How the hell does he move that quick? What? God damn it. This is not possible. I can move you. Wow, I'm actually pretty strong. I can lift this box like it's nothing. It seems that this wall was built to stop something or someone. I wonder what happened. Here. I cannot look over it. God damn it. If only I had been longer. Like Kobe Bryant or... How is that other man called? Shaquille O'Neal. What is that? What is that noise? I can use this all to my defense, so hey, uh, 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 you ain't got shit on me. Woo! No, no, doggies! Nay! 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 Shut up, you piece of shit! Defense! Best defense ever! You will never see me. 
shit, 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 shit. Dougie? Um, Dougie? No, no laggy lag. Doggy, you went in here. Let's follow the doggy. Have been in here? No, I have not. Great, a safe area. Come on. Are oh, these doors close so slowly, guys? I'm going to end part one here, because since I'm recording this in 1080p and 60 FPS, the video files will be huge. Even though I'm using uh, alternative uh, recording software right now. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this starting, starting up part of Penumbra Necrolog. I'm really freaking excited to play this game um i actually don't remember all of the story of overture and black plague and i haven't played requiem i don't know if that's that's a big addition to the story because some people said it's just a puzzle game but yeah i'm really excited i hope you are all excited i hope you like this first part if you like this first part leave a like leave a favorite if you enjoyed it even more and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my content because yeah why not i mean if you want to laugh sometimes thank you all for watching guys and i will see you all in the